and welcome back to some more Range Rounded. Uh, right, as I feared, my wife also got sick. Now, thankfully, she's not as sick as I was, and my daughter is also, well, basically completely healed. It's just a lot of mucus going around, so we're basically a coughing choir. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're hanging in there. Now, I've been sick for quite some time already. I mean, you know, uh, I guess that's the negative thing about the man flu, is it's hard to get rid of. Now, I've also been expanding the base a little bit. So, yeah, basically, this is what I've been doing. I'm just uh, expanding the area, making it more flat. So, I'm thinking that I'm going to do this all the way around and then perhaps build a wall of some kind, maybe. Not sure uh, what exactly I'm doing, because I'm also just, you know, uh, making materials, cooking some iron and uh, all the stuff that I'm going to need for the building contest that is, well, a week away. So hopefully I will be able to, you know, finish up something. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Now there's also, well, this happened quite some time ago, but there's uh, like more story mode for Tekken. I kind of want to have a look at that since, well, I did buy the game. Well, I didn't buy the game. The game got, uh, you know, donated to me. So, uh, well, we have that, but we, we, we will see. Not uh, not enough hours in the day. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so uh, stuff is cooking up. It is cooking, it is cooking. I'm starting to make a lot of iron and a little bit more of, hmm, yeah, fossilized bone. That only needs, eh, sure, maybe, maybe. Now, I am fully aware that I could basically just jump into a resource world. There's, like, a lot of, of them. Now, for some reason, I mean, I'm not gonna condemn anyone for using those types of worlds, or, you know, you're able to use, uh, like, the cheat engine, and I think it's something called Companion Builder, Builder Companion, that makes it easier to build. I haven't looked into it, but, no, I'm, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a vanilla... Uh, experience, I think. Now, even with the resource world, I mean, that's still vanilla, but for, for some reason, for some odd reason, I kind of just want to gather up all the stuff in this world and then basically take it to my other world, which is basically the same. I'm just kind of wasting, uh, wasting mater materials, really, because I could use all of this stuff for my build, but uh, uh, we will see. Yeah, I do believe, I mean, I haven't had a lot of time to watch any other creators, but I did watch someone build a ginormous, ginormous tower in the middle, uh, middle of over there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, if it's not uh, uh, apparent or obvious, I am, I'm still tired. I mean, my daughter is asleep, my wife is watching some television, I mean, they're doing fine, totally fine. But yeah, yeah, we've been we've been cleaning today, so stuff is spotless, basically. Now, okay, so I am making a lot of materials because I'm thinking of making those. Uh, let's see, let's see, collector Alden uh, these things probably, the Iron Crypt Brazier, probably these things. That's hmm, yeah, maybe. I mean, they require a lot of materials. Now, why? I mean, at some point I will obviously get myself, uh, you know, a resource world and just, you know, uh, get all the stuff that I need, but uh, at least for this world I'm thinking that I'm gonna keep everything the good old-fashioned way of I'm mining my own materials. Now, I've also increased the yield of stuff when I gather them, so that's, that's something. Uh, but... Yes, so now I'm just basically waiting for everything to uh, cook and be ready. Now, hang on, yeah, I also did respec a little bit into gathering. I also have the Mother's Eye Rings, which gives me 20% more woodcutting damage, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, I do need more resin. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, travel a little bit over yonder. Ah, the good old hobbit hole. <laughs> that is oh, sadly abandoned. Now... Okay, what was I thinking? Yeah, I think that I'm gonna attempt to cut some wood. A little bit at least. One and two and... Oh, just two hit array. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do a lot of damage now. And one and two and a three. Four, four, say what name? Yeah, I need a lot of wood in order to make uh, charcoal. 
So I guess that's what we're gonna do for a little bit. Now, it has been recommended to me that I should definitely uh, chop down wood in, is it that forest? Or maybe it's a forest over here? Mm, and there's plenty of forests around, but uh, I mean, this area isn't too bad. Oh, schmeck. Uh -huh. And a schmeck, and a schmeck, and a schmeck. And another schmeck. Yes, loads of wood. Now, I must say that chopping down trees in Valheim is definitely more fun than it is in Enshrouded. Mainly because, well, in the physics and everything falling down. Now, it does get a... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's wolves. Uh, I mean, I can take care of those with their just regular axe if I can hit. Now, okay, here we go. Oh, okay, come at me. Oh, <laughs> oh. I wonder if there's a way to toggle that that I can use my axe as an actual weapon. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps, maybe perhaps. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm also looking at these fall trees, because they do drop a lot of, uh, well, they usually drop a lot of resin, and that could come in handy. And, uh, okay, two hitter. Uh, not too, not too much. Ooh, but I also did see another easer for the next update. Ooh, you can pet the animals, no that. That is gonna be fantastic. Now, they did also mention that there will be, like, cats? For whatever reason, I mean, hmm, I mean, like, there's the big cats, I've been made aware of those, like the saber-toothed tigers, but, meh, cats, cats, well, I guess we, I guess we will see, oh, no, not this one, uh, axe, there we go, right, okay, how, oh, I mean, I've got quite a bit, okay, let's just travel a little bit this way, now, there's also a new MMO on the rise, I think. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's too popular, but uh, Throne of Liberty, is, is that the one? Yeah, fairly new. Also free to play, obviously pay to win, so I would not invest a lot of time into that, but oh, I used to love MMOs. Now I don't have time for them, <laughs> like, not a chance, and I, even if I had the money, I would never spend uh, money on a pay to win game. No, no, no siree. That's just not something that you do. You pay for the game, and then you have the game. And then, well, the only way to get better at the game is to play the game. But again, it's a free-to-play game, so I'm not gonna complain. When it's free-to-play, I think they can do whatever they want. Make it as pay-to-win as, well, basically possible. Now, I will probably make give it a go at some point. But, uh, we will see. We will see. Again, there is also, like, the... Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, I think streamers, maybe streamers are to blame, that there's the, basically a trend where you play a game, once you're finished with the game, or at least getting close to finishing it, you just immediately hop on to the next game, which is obviously a good tactic for any live streamer, because, well, infinite content, and I don't plan to be, a, uh, you know, just a enshrouded uh, content creator, not that I wouldn't want to, but I do prefer to play uh, some some different games here and there. And I also do have a quite a uh, big library of games that I have yet to play. But we will see. We will see. Right now I just need a lot of wood so that I can get a lot of charcoal so that I can finally finish up my uh, build for the building contest. But ooh, the competition is steep. Now I haven't looked too much into the competition, but <laughs> let's just say that, oh, I'm not going to win. But... I'm gonna, I'm gonna post something, a little bit of something, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I get to time. Who knows, maybe I won't be able to play for another week, uh, who knows, come on then. Now, hang on, I did need wolf meat, I believe, here, oh, wolf meat, and wolf meat, oh, bears. Hang on, these big trees, is this hardwood, or is it, oh, not that one, this one, maybe, oh, it's woodwood, looks like woodwood. Yeah, that's uh, wood wood, and that's a lot of wood 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 wood. Okay, come on in. <laughs> Mesh. Hmm. Yeah, these big trees, those are definitely something. I mean, they go down rather easily, especially since I do a lot of damage. Hmm. And let's see. Yeah, this is probably a good place to farm them. No, I don't think these things drop. It doesn't look like they drop uh, resin. Hmm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I've been here, haven't I? What is this? Oh, right, right. Yeah, I must have been in this house, I think. Oh, yeah, spider house. Okay, I remember. Hmm. Oh, yeah, excuse you. And one thing that I haven't done yet in this game, I do want to take a 
previous building, well, like a building like this one, and just renovate it. Ooh, that could be something, that could definitely be something. But again, it's not something that I have time to do right now. Now, I've also been invited to, not, well, a couple of times, to uh, view some of my viewers' bases and such. Now, that is something that I've planned to do, but the only way that I could do it viably, to showcase other people's builds, is that I can't really make time for it because I have no idea when my daughter will be sleeping. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it could be in the middle of the night, it could be in the middle of the day, and... Uh, hmm. So I'm thinking that I will probably just eventually start going through pretty much random people's builds, because there's a lot of be people who post their builds on the Discord. So that could definitely be something for the future, once I actually decide to build something proper. Because with the next update, I mean, we will get an entirely new area. Uh, that's still a little bit of a boss over there, right? We, we do get a new area, but we also get farm animals that we can breed. And hopefully they produce some sort of byproduct. Like milk from goats or whatever. Some Maybe some more hmm, recipes for eggs, perhaps? So I'm thinking that I will probably build a big base in the actual mountain biome. Now make it something proper rather than my base, maybe, because now I'm just building random buildings around. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my base, it uh, has a little bit of everything, hmm, but uh, I mean, we will see. Well, my wife is currently thinking, contemplating on what she wants to play. I mean, we are basically done with... what, uh, what kind of game is that? Uh, we are basically done with seven days, uh, I mean, we still have, like, the gyrocopter and stuff, but, hmm, maybe we should start a hardcore series with seven days. Hmm, could be interesting. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. And we also have Valheim. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten to the Ashlands, not gotten further than that. I mean, that was the goal of the series, basically, to get to Ashlands as far as fast as possible, but we did want to experience the, <laughs> the game, uh, but... Uh, it's all about time. And also our enshrouded playthrough. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Well, I do need some... Let's see. We're gonna put this over here, maybe? Yeah, let's... Uh, I mean, that's all the wood, basically. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's take two, maybe three of those, and then cook the rest of the iron. Well, at least a little bit of iron. Yeah, it's, it's, it's taking time. An hour until that is finished. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so that is ready. Still making a lot of... Let's see. Can I actually see... Oh, what was that? Oh, my phone is going crazy. Okay. Uh, the government just sent me a text offering a free flu vaccine. Uh, a little bit too late for that, buddy boy, but... <laughs> Well, my wife's just booted up the game, so hopefully I get a little bit of time. Now, I've specced into a healer-ish build, so we will see what I can do. That's the chain heal, that's the bowls. Not really sure how my... Hmm. I mean, yeah, I could probably eat this food. Right, let's see. If I... Do I die from this? Maybe? Oh, yes. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I'm healing pretty good. Let's test out the mana regeneration. Let's see, just a passive one. Ah, uh, it is... it is decent. Could be better, but it is something. Now, if I eat this food, then I have 23 intelligence. Not too shabby. Now, I can also use this, and then with just bare fists, I, yeah, I can also stun the enemies now. Hmm. Interesting. Let's give this a little bit ago, but I'm probably gonna make that a different episode. It's been some time since I've been playing with my wife, so hopefully I get to play a little, but who knows? Who knows? But anyhow, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.